what we have is failure to communicate. Some folks you just can't reach. So we have what we had here last week, which is the way he wanted it. Well, he gets. And who am I talking about? None other than Di Barney the Dinosaur, Doug Ford. As you're going to hear this imagination guy come out here and tell you that the Canadian people are not listening. The COVID-19 cases are going up. Remember my video where I said they already had to, for the second pandemic? I go back in March and I kept talking about a curfew. Well, let's get ready for it. Cases of COVID-19 are surging in several provinces across the country. In Ontario, Premier Doug Ford says the rise of cases there is a cause for concern, but he did stress that there are many steps of action in place to handle the expected second wave. There, there are cause for concern for all of us. And let me be crystal clear, every option is on the table. We will take every step necessary, including further shutdowns. In the second wave of COVID-19, it's a scenario that we have been preparing for all summer long. And today, we're in much better shape when it comes to testing. We have dozens of companies in Ontario manufacturing PPE. We have invested billions of dollars to expand capacity in our healthcare system. Oh, they sure have in the healthcare system. You can look at needles all across Ontario on any city that you go to. Any ground that you have, because instead of having marijuana clinics, he decided to make more meth clinics. Thumbs up to Doug Ford, the fucking loser. Not been waiting for things to get worse before we take action. We've been working around the clock for months, getting ready for the second wave. And that's why we return to the house today with clear plans to protect and support Ontario. For more on this, we're joined now by the CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick. She's live for us at the Ontario Legislature. So, Megan, what else did we learn about how the province might respond to rising cases? Well, the Premier and the Health Minister, Christine Elliott, said uh, that they have been working on what they're calling a fall preparedness plan, Andrew, and they will in... Uh... Um, what she is is a liar for the Conservative Party and all the media across everywhere. This lady wouldn't have a clue. She's just a paid moron for people to want to believe in it for some reason. Now let's get into the reality of a real human being, which is myself. I'm gonna show you this video, and then I'm gonna talk. Pay attention. This is where your COVID-19 cases are all coming from that are all new. Let's remember this video is over a month or two old. I stated about Georgia peach being closed and all the marijuana clinics, just like I'm telling you about this. You're going to hear the government blame it on groups of people partying of 50. Groups of this happening. It is all a made-up story for them to add it on. Remember what I said earlier in this video. As you hear all across your media, we have no more cases of COVID-19. All of your airports have been closed, but we have new cases coming in. Now, I talked about a curfew before when I came out here and I spoke. Your curfews are gonna start to happen near the end of September. And this is when your COVID-19 cases are gonna keep coming because they are not stopping people from crossing over from flights. You know, they're not doing it from the borders. You know they're not doing it from anything. This is where your new cases are coming out from. It's not from us, the Canadian people. It's from them accepting people from around other places. 
As they land, they have to look after them. We are wasting billions of dollars on COVID-19. But we also have our whole government saying, we have nothing coming in. So you can expect your curfew around September with a lot more cases coming up. You'll find global news, you'll find city TV news, you will find all the news is pushing. We only have this many cases, only 100. Now we just got 200 cases, oh my God. Now we're back up to 300 cases. Holy, we got to go back to stage two. Then we got to go back to stage three. And then by the end of September, guaranteed, you will be in your house by 11 o'clock. Their plan is not to stop it, but to keep it going. As your media tries to let us know from around the world, bits and pieces, you have to put it together. To really understand it you have to watch all different newses to get the reality of one news and it's only always bits and pieces because no matter what you do they always hide the real factors but the real factor is your curfew at 11 o'clock starts at the end of september i promise you like i stated before about georgia peach and how all of it was going to be closed down i can promise you these are the words of a person who is an activist against the government. I am coming out here to challenge our government on all the fraud that they committed across Ontario. And I cannot wait to travel. Wish me the best of luck as I expose our Canadian government as much as I can before they shut me down.